Hi, my name is Christy King Brock. I'm the Executive Director for Anderson Interfaith Ministries, and I'd like to introduce you to one of our 12 programs, our Women and Children Succeeding Program. This program provides child care and supportive services so women can return to school and break free of a life of poverty. We've had almost 100 families impacted through this program over the years. I'd like for you to hear from one of those success stories, our former participant and current employee, Lauren Larison. Hello, everybody, and good evening. Um, my name is Lauren Larison. Um, I am 27 years old, and I have been at Anderson since the third grade. My bottom, I had stolen so much from family and friends that I didn't even have a place to lay my head at night. And so I ended up at the Salvation Army Homeless Shelter. And I remember I had this moment of clarity that night. I was sitting in the homeless shelter, and I looked around, and I was like, oh, my God, how have I gotten here? I showed up here with a duffel bag in my hand, and that's all that I have. I am not supposed to live this way. This is not what my future was supposed to be. I, I've got to do something. And at that point, I didn't know who God was yet, but I knew that there was something bigger than me, so I got down on my knees and I asked for help. And um, things started to get better. Um, I started going to a 12-step recovery program. Um, uh, the Salvation Army actually offered me a job after a couple weeks. So I was working nights and weekends there, and um, after a couple months, I got a second job at Skins Hot Dogs, which they represented here tonight. Go Skins! Woo! Um, but I was working about 70 hours a week, and even though both of them were great opportunities, I realized that I needed to do something better for myself because I was making minimum wage working 70 hours a week and still couldn't make ends meet. Um, I was trying to pay off people that I owed money to, trying to pay off bad debt, trying to pay my parents. It just, it wasn't working. Um, and so I realized that if I wanted to have a future for myself and for Katie Grace, who, by the way, had been taken away from me at DSS, um, through DSS, um, before I got sober. Um, so I was in the middle of trying to get her back as well. But, um, I realized that if I wanted to provide a future for the two of us, I needed to go back to school. And that's where I learned about the Women and Children Succeeding Program at Anderson Interfaith Ministries. Um, when I came to AIM, I was empty. I was ashamed of who I was. I was ashamed of what I had become. And I was ashamed that I had to ask for help the way that I did. But you know what they did? They gave me their hand, and they helped to lift me back up. Excuse me. So we're on. <laughs> Thank you. But you know what? Not only did they help pay for Katie Grace's child care while I was going back to school, um, they gave me, particularly Miss Judy, so much emotional support. There's several times where I ended up in Miss Judy's office just about to have a breakdown. And she said, you know what, it's okay, we're going to get through this together. Because of this ministry, today I know who God is. Today I'm not ashamed of who I was. I'm proud of what I've become. Um, today my daughter has a future ahead of her. She knows that her mama is there for her, and because of this ministry, I'm a good mother to her today. This ministry helped change my priorities and gave me a completely different outlook on life. So you know what? Congratulations, Aim. Congratulations, Christy. You guys are making such a difference in everybody's life. I'm in a program, I was in a program with women and still consider myself part of the program, <laughs> that get are working to get themselves out of poverty they lift themselves up and aim helps them to do that i mean what an amazing thing to happen and not only was i in wax but when i need decide when i decided i was ready to move out and get my own place for me and katie grace they helped me with my deposits i wouldn't have been able to move into our own place if it hadn't have been for aim i wouldn't have been able to afford it um so what they are doing on a daily basis not only affects my life, but it affects everybody else's life in this community, whether you're a volunteer, whether you're a client getting services from AIM, or whether you're just looking from the outside and looking in. Because you know what? You can see God working in this ministry. You can see it. It's an amazing thing. And I am so blessed to be able to be an employee now. Um, 
And when I was in school, I realized that this is what I wanted to do. And I have the opportunity to turn around and give back. Just like y'all so freely gave to me, I'm able to turn around and give it back to people. And um, for that, you know, I'm humbled, I'm grateful, and I'm incredibly blessed. Thank you. Happy birthday. If you'd like more information on this program that's changing generations through education, if you would like this in your area, please contact us using the information seen on the screen. Thank you for your time. We look forward to hearing from you.